kind of like that movie. What, what's that Steve Zahn movie? You know, the Candy Cane. What's it? Joyride. It's like Joyride. I mean, it's not like Joyride, but you know what I mean. Just in terms of, <laughs> be careful. So Unhinged is a movie where Russell Crowe plays a guy who's pretty unhinged. In terms of movies living up to its title, this is probably, it's up there. So the premise is there's this lady, she's a single mom, she lives with her brother. One day she's having a really bad day and then there's this guy in his truck and he's not moving when the light's green. So she just, she honks at him. I don't mean like honks at him. She goes full, I want to speak to your manager now. Just Burr! she lets that horn have it. So Russell Crowe's like, I think I'm going to, stalk the shit out of this lady and terrorize her and kill people. We'll make a day of it. And that's what it is. There's this horror movie in which Russell Crowe is just a really terrifying maniac and he's terrorizing this lady. Which I, I would call it horror. I mean, it's definitely thriller, but in a world where Halloween is horror, then this is horror. I mean, the Halloween is about a guy who stalks a girl and kills people and Unhinged is about a guy who stalks a lady and kills people. So if one is horror, both have to be. Yeah, sure, it's all about execution, but I'm just saying, Russell Crowe is pretty terrifying. I don't say that lightly when Maximum Meridius over here is just, he's doing his thing. You're like, Ugh. you see, this is why people avoid altercations, really. It's not just the possibility that when you get into an altercation, it might be a fight. If there's a fight, you might get knocked out. If you get knocked out, it ends there. That's not the bad premise, you know, that's not worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is you had an altercation with someone who's just that bored, has that much time on their hands, and they're just gonna fuck with you now and, you know, put your bunny in a pot or <laughs> burn your house. But Russell Crowe is really good when he's being that guy and he's doing his really intense psycho thing. Like, there's a scene in this diner, I was like, this is intense and uncomfortable. And in that, I enjoyed this movie. It gave me some thrills. It's simple to the point, pretty intense, <laughs> intense. It's intense among its chase sequences involving a minivan and a station wagon. Just saying, to make it work. And there's something about this premise, like this general premise of this movie of like, oh, be careful who you piss off or careful who you get into the crosshairs of that I've always just kind of found fascinating because it does, when you're watching it, you have that feeling of, oh, it could happen to you. you. You know that movie, It Could Happen to You? This should actually be called It Could Happen to You. I'm just saying it's more likely that someone's gonna fucking psycho out on you than you winning a lotto ticket, so it's... More applicable for this movie, the title that is. All right, I'm editing this video right now and I just found the poster. So I just saw that the catchphrase is, he could happen to anyone, which is pretty intense. It's more intense than it could happen to you. But you know they thought of it could happen to you. So anyhow, there's your update. Back to your regularly scheduled program. You do have to take some leaps or at least suspend disbelief. It's like this lady in this movie was, she was making all the wrong decisions until, until she wasn't. I was always like, lady, why aren't you doing this thing? And then she was like, oh, now I'm gonna do that thing. But it was always after I thought it, and so it was one step behind. Like she should have done that one step ago. I mean, they write their way around it, you know, they're like, all right, we have to make things happen so she gets distracted. You know, writing like writing in movies like this goes, but there was one scene in particular where Russell Crowe is just prattling on the phone and she's driving. I'm like, where are you driving to though? Are you just driving in circles? Are you circling the block? <laughs> Cause I feel like it should have been like, uh-huh. Oh God, that's really terrifying. Yep, I'm pulling into the police station right now. Thanks. You have my phone? Awesome. We'll find you. And really the whole thing gets set off with bad decision making. Cause when she realizes, hey, this truck, it, Wait a minute, is that guy following me? This lady's like, do you want me to call the cops? And this one dipshit's like, don't do that. That'll just make him mad. And she's like, I'm gonna follow your advice, I guess. Yeah, who wants an official police report in case this guy really loses it? Who wants a paper trail? You don't want that. That's just, you know, smart. And in the end, the movie was simple. It was a simple premise. It had its thrills. It had its scares. And I was entertained. I mean, yeah, granted, half the reason I was entertained was probably because I was like, whoa, I'm in a movie theater. I almost forgot what this was like. So yeah, that probably added to my enjoyment. Sure, it's just the kind of movie, now that it's playing in a movie theater not near you, is this the kind of movie you need to drive 100 miles to watch this weekend? 
No. But for what it was, as I watched it, I enjoyed it. It's like the kind of movie that if it's on TV, I'll keep it on. I'll be like, oh yeah, that movie. All right, cool. Let's see Russell Crowe just fucking lose it. I'm just saying I had a good time with this movie. No alcohol required. All right, so Unhinged. Not a lot of theaters showing it, and the auditorium today wasn't that packed, so... Do you want to watch it? What are you watching this weekend? What on Netflix are you gonna watch? What is it? What do you think? Comment below, let me know, and as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.